synopsis of what happened. Now, there's another guy, Armand Wiggins, who did a way better job, detailed job, um, just as well as um, Homegirl. I can't think of her name with the M. Uh, my, 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 my Lago or something like that. I don't know. But she's done, she's done uh, a great job. Them both are like me. They get detail, 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 detail all the way down, you know, as much as they can. Uh, they, we like stenographers. We're going to get everything as much as we can and give you full detail. And I see that in them because, you know, I'm like that. So shout out to uh, Lawyers for Workers and uh, shout out to Armand and Wiggins. I'm going to play his recollection of what happened in the courtroom, which is very detailed, and then we're going to go over it, all right? And once again, I'm using this under fair use, as you can see right up there, all right? Let's see. Let me put his name up here. Give him his props. Hold on, y'all, real quick. I just want to put his name up here. Uh, here we go. Child, so I told you I was going to come and get the tea. First of all, she was in court yesterday saying that she was lying and she was lying and feeling uncomfortable. That audio with them, she sounded very comfortable. She was trying to make sure she had all the receipts. She, she, Tory Lane shot Megan Thee Stallion, period. She said that Tory Lane shot him. She said what ended up happening. I was just man come right by me like this. She, she pretty much said, bitch, they was at Kylie Jenner house first. OK, um, they got him. Kylie Jenner invited um, Meg and Kelsey to her house at the WAP video shoot. OK, so they went to her house. The day of the pool party, it was just like a regular party. OK, Odell Beckham Jr. was there. Um, Corey Gamble was there. Some of Kylie Jenner's other friends was there. And, you know, they were drinking, playing beer pong. It was it was very cute. Uh, Megan, Megan Thee Stallion was in the in the kitchen make, making nachos. You know, it was a really good night, okay? Then at some point, uh, things kind of died down. They were getting really drunk. Tory Lanez ended up, ends up showing up. So at this time, it's just Kelsey, Tory, Meg, EJ. I forgot because EJ was with them too. Uh, and Kylie. So long story short, Meg... And Meg and um, Tori and Kylie were in the pool, okay? EJ was in a cabana, and I think Kelsey kind of was in a... In a Book your weekend adventure today. Come see the Royal Caribbean. Jacuzzi. Meg was doing like this awkward laugh, but it was like a really loud, obnoxious laugh, something that she ain't, had never done before. Fast forward, Meg's wig was slipping, okay? She was drunk. Her, her wig was coming off. They was like, you know, it's time for Meg. It's Meg, like Kelsey, Egypt was like, Meg, it's time to go. Like, Kelsey, tell Meg it's time to go. Kelsey told Meg that, you know, listen, it's time to go. Meg didn't want to leave. Then she said, hold on. 
Then she said, then she said that um she said, girl, your wig is slipping. It's time to go. So Meg kind of got herself together. Her wig was slipping. It was time to go. So EJ ended up putting um their while while they were trying to get Meg to go, Kelsey goes upstairs and try to put her uh pack her belongings and put their things in EJ's car. Um Meg says, okay, well, we're not gonna leave. We're gonna ride with Tori. So and then so uh Kelsey ends up getting in the car with gets in Quan's car, which is the security guard. Okay. Um, so Megan was like, Yeah, we're leaving with Tori, whatever. So I guess they moved the car, they moved the, the, the stuff out of EJ's car into Quan's car. It was the whole thing. But Tori did not want to leave with them. Tori said he was going to stay for whatever reason. He did not want to leave with them. Okay. So Chow, they end up leaving. It was the security, Quan, Kelsey, Meg, right? And then EJ was kind of following them, but EJ went his own separate way because he had no reason to ride with them. Meg realized she left her Louis Vuitton slipper at the house, demanded, demanded that Quan turn back around and go back to Kylie's house. Okay. So they go back to Kylie's house. Kylie's security guard's like, what's going on? Like, why are you back over here? And Meg's like, she forgot her slipper, whatever. She goes in the house. Quan and Meg go back in the house. Kelsey sits in the car. Then everybody comes rushing out the house. Kylie stays on her porch. Tori comes rushing out, goes with them. Quan, Kelsey, the whole thing, right? Not, not Kelsey, Meg. Meg tells Kelsey, she was like, bitch, Kylie just told us that we got to get the fuck out. So Kylie told them to get the fuck out because they were fighting. So Meg gets in the car again. She's doing that laugh. She's doing that. Now at this point, um, Tori's sitting in the back. Kelsey's sitting on the right in the back. Meg is sitting in the in the passenger on the right. Okay. And she's doing that laugh. Everybody like, well, what's so funny? What's so funny? And then um and then um, Tori was like, yeah, Meg, tell your friend how fake you are. Tell your friend how fake you are. So then they start getting into it because that was when the exposing happened that she had been fucking around with Tori Lane. So then they start uh, exchanging low blows and start, you know, getting into it. And so um, I'm trying to remember everything that happened. I got it written down, bitch. But so they start getting into it about Magnus Stallion and Tori start getting into it about, you know, their career. They was doing career blows. Magnus Stallion was like, bitch, you ain't shit. You, you only popping because you got a, a Jack Harlow feature, this, that, and the third. You know what I'm saying? And 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 Meg and then Kelsey was like, man, stop talking to her like that. You feel me? Like, I don't care what y'all got going on. That's my bitch. Like, you can't be talking to her like that. And so they start arguing. Kelsey, Kelsey Kelsey's arguing with Tori. Tori and Meg arguing. Right. And Tori, like he told he he motioned. He didn't do it. According to Kelsey, he motioned. He like, man, they shut up. Like, bitch, I'll shoot you. And she like, well, bitch, if you, you shoot me, just know, like, I got hitters. Like, you know what I mean? And it's my time to go. He like, yeah, bitch, I'll shoot you. And he motioned for the for the console. But he didn't open the console. He didn't pull nothing out. This is what this is what um this is what they're saying. So Meg says, you know, like she wants to get out. Or some shit like that. Get out the car. So Meg and Kelsey kind of get out the car. Tori comes and you know talks to Meg. You know what I mean? Get they have a conversation. Whatever they get out the car. Meg gets back in the car. Then Meg gets back in the car, and then um, Tori like, man, I apologize, Kelsey, for what I said. I just have to tell you, you know, because you're a real ass nigga, like. You know, I just want to tell you, you know, you deserve to know like what was going on because you're a real ass nigga, you know. And I guess that fired Megan the Stallion up again. So they started fighting and arguing, and you know what I mean? Because she was trying to because oh, Megan the Stallion was saying, Kelsey, don't believe what he's saying. Don't believe what he's saying. He's just trying to piss you off. Don't believe him. he's just trying to piss you off. But Kelsey, like, man, I don't really know what the fuck is going on. Like, what the fuck? This is some bullshit. So long story short. They end up fighting again. The low blows is happening. 
uh, Kelsey's getting involved. Meg, they all argue in the car. Then Tory Lane says, "Man, get these bitches out of my fucking car." Tells them, "Tell them get these bitch out of my fucking car." Both these hoes get both these bitches out of my fucking car. So then they get out the car. Now this is now Kelsey saying Meg gets out the car. She walking away. Kelsey says she in the back seat now, coming out of the right hand side. She's out of the car, but she's not past her door because both car doors are open. Tori moves from the back seat to the front seat in Meg's seat. So now Meg walks, she's walking away. Tori is in the front passenger seat now. The door is open. So both doors open. The front door passenger. door is wide open the back door passenger seat is wide open because kelsey's getting out meg already got out okay tory lanes is standing over the door like standing kind of you know not like not over the window not out the door but, like kind of stand like leaning over the door because the door is open and kelsey says as she's like getting out it's five gunshots boom 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 on the third gunshot she looks over and she sees tory lane shooting on the fourth or fifth gunshot, though on the fourth gunshot, um, Megan the Stallion turns around and looks like a deer in headlights because she's realizing Tory Lanez has shot her and he's holding a gun or shooting at her. Then Meg, you know, falls like it's the whole thing. She said everybody was just stuck. Tory was stuck. She was stuck. She, Kelsey says she ran over to Meg to try to help her, to see what was going on, to see if she was okay. You know what I mean? Quan was just like, oh my God, like everybody was kind of stuck. Then she said that Tori started coming back. Tor, like, so Meg was in the driveway. Kelsey said she ran to the driveway to make sure Meg was okay. Tori comes around and she felt like, damn, he's going to like try to bite her, you know, or do something because he just shot at her. So then, so then, bitch, it's crazy. So then she says she got in the middle of it, like, get the fuck away from her. And Chow, Tori started beating her up. Then she said, then she said, Quan, which is the security guard, he jumped in it, grabbed Kelsey out of the way and said, listen, they do this all the time, Kelsey. They do this all the time. Don't get involved. They do this all the time. And she like, well, what the fuck do you mean they do this all the time? The motherfucker shot Megan the Stallion. Like, she shot her. And Kelsey said she tried to get away. Um, she went, so 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 then so then after that, she goes to the car to cause a distraction. Tori is talking to Meg, calming her down. Says that. So Kelsey says she jumps in the car, creates the car to jerk, like a jerk emotion. Okay. And the car jerks. Tori runs back to the car and starts beating Kelsey's ass. Okay. This is according to her. Pulling her hair, beating on her because she's causing too much attention in the middle of the street. Quan comes and tries to break it up, but Tori has a tight grip on her okay so then at some point Quan says everybody get the fuck back in the car meg is back in the car very calm cool she kelsey feels like he whatever he said to her she wasn't even upset at him as much i don't know if she was in shock meg is in the back her foot is on kelsey she like kelsey called t ferris nobody is answering she tried to call to the security. No one was answering. Okay. So because nobody was answering, Kelsey text Meg security and was like, somebody help. Tori just shot Megan. 911. So that's where the text message came from. Now, I know a lot of y'all sitting here saying, oh, he's lying. Whoa, 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 whoa. All he's doing is recapping what Kelsey told the prosecutors 
in uh in September when she came and made a statement about what happened that night. So uh because the prosecutors told her that Tori's defense was going to be that she shot her. So Kelsey went to the prosecutors and she told them this story. Armand Wiggins ain't making this up and y'all talking about, oh, he capped it. It's, it's, it's not his story. All he's doing is reporting what was uh, played in the courtroom, the 80 minute tape, you know, as much as he could remember. Um, let, let's just say, let's just say for the, the sake of, we're going we're gonna to do it both ways. Let's say for one, the first story Kelsey told to the prosecutors, the one that uh, Armand Wiggins just uh, recapped from the courtroom. Let's say if that was the truth, right? Let's say that Kelsey went there trying not to tell them nothing and they pressured her and giving them a story. So she told them what she felt was the truth, right? Allegedly, you know, I'm just saying, right? Let's say that this story that, that we just heard from Armand is the truth. Then Tori would be guilty, right? The thing that the, just going to get the jury is the inconsistencies and in Megan even if everything on this tape was the truth, right? You got Megan that came out and first said she uh, she stepped on glass. Then you got Megan saying, "Oh no, Tori shot me." Then she said, "You know, uh, it was she didn't want to tell because of George Floyd." Even when she was at the hospital where she was safe, she still could have told. So the jury is going to be questioning her why she didn't tell the truth from the jump. If everything that uh, I'm on to say is true, the broken nail in the street, Kelsey having blown on her, allegedly could have been when Tori, if if that would, would happen, Tori dragged her out the car, boom, 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 beat her up, boom, 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 boom right? That could be why she had the broken nail, whatever, whatever. But remember, we also got the witness that says he saw two women fighting, not no guy fighting, right? He seen them two get out on, on the right side of the car and then start engaging, right? I don't think that that person testified yet, right? But um, sticking back to, 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 the, to this, right? Let's say Tory pulled her out. And boom, boom, boom. That would explain uh, the bruises and everything on Kelsey, right? It's hard to believe that. That to me, they they wouldn't have jumped him if I, I don't know. Let me just stick to the to to the, to the tape, right? He said in the tape that when them two got out the car, Tory climbed into the passenger seat in the shotgun seat, and I guess allegedly got the gun out the console. And when Member Megan said she turned around and he was standing over the truck. Now his little butt, you know, he could have been standing on the the the, the floor panel of the door i mean uh, yeah uh, of the doorway and shot over the front seat because him standing over the back seat it wouldn't have made no sense but she said he climbed to the front and got the gun and did that and it, it could be possible now i mean all right let's let's that that's if everything that kelsey said and that was the truth if everything she said in that 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 tape is the truth, then I'm inclined to believe that Tory may have done this, right? Now, let's say that
Kelsey is the shooter. And she went and just made up, concocted this whole story just to put blame on Tori and not on her. That's the flip side of it. She could have went there and told him a whole bunch of lies. You know what I'm saying? Because she wasn't under oath. So she probably think she like, yo, she probably told him, I don't want to testify. I don't want to do this. Well, just tell us what happened. Just tell us what happened. We won't make you testify. Trust us. You can believe us. We, 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 we want to look out for you. Don't you care about your friend? Just tell us what happened. You won't have to testify. No, I don't want to tell her. I don't want to be involved. I don't want to talk. Well, look, Tori's going to say that you did it. That's their defense, Kelsey. I didn't do it. Well, then what happened, Kelsey? Tell us. Well, and then boom, she gave him the story, right? Thinking that she ain't going to have to testify. So now when she come to court, she might be telling the truth now, knowing that she was lying then and don't want to perjure herself because she knows she told him a bunch of BS. That's playing devil's advocate on the flip side where she went to go see them. In 2020, let's say she made up all this story and it, let's say all of that is a lie. She could have been de- making up the story to defend herself and give them a bullshit. Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? And give them a, a, a bullshit story, you know, to, to, to go and prosecute them with. But the thing is this. Just like Megan, Kelsey, for the jury, speaking as a juror, looking on as if I was a juror, Megan lied and Kelsey lied. So I don't know what to believe. So just because she went and told the prosecutors in September of 2022 that Tory did it, that don't mean she didn't tell tell them that to, to save her own butt. The the, uh, the 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 person that came in that did did the forensics on on the the gunpowder residue. She had gunpowder on her, and and now they say, hold on, let's, it's a new story out. Hold on, about Tory not having no gunpowder residue. Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion legal proceedings have left fans confused. If you've been on Twitter today, you've likely seen some of the conversations floating around following the 29-year-old's arrest after a judge ruled that he violated a protective order against the Houston-born rapper by posting messages about her online. The Canadian, I don't care about all that. Holly confirmed that the swab on the gun came back inconclusive with four contributors while the magazine swab excluded lanes, she wrote, speaking on a DNA test that was run a while ago, which if he had seen his document, he presumably would have got it right, Holy said in court of the situation, according to Dillian's report. So basically, his team tried to play technicality mind games with Twitter to win the court of public appeal battle. One user explained their take. See, my DNA wasn't on the gun. Now what? Can't fail a test if you don't take it.
Highly confirmed that the swab on the on the gun came back inconclusive with four contributors while the magazine swab ex excluded lanes. That to me that don't really mean Jack because just because uh Just because he didn't, um, load the gun don't mean he couldn't have shot it. That, that don't mean nothing to me. That, that, that don't mean nothing to me. Just cause he, his hand, he didn't load the gun. That don't mean that he could have knew somebody had a gun in the front and went and got it. That don't, that don't mean nothing to me. That don't mean nothing to me. But, um. Once again, so if, let's say that, that, that she's lying to the prosecutors and then got up there and told the truth. You know, either way to the jury, Meg is not credible. Kelsey's not credible. So now we got to, I, I would say that the, ju the jury will have to make a decision based on all the other evidence outside of the, uh, those two. Because they both lied so much, you know, you, like, how could you believe what was true and what's not? Between those two. So the jury got it rough. And with them both lying like that, that automatically creates reasonable doubt, which is, which they can't say, Beyond the reasonable doubt that Tory's guilty, and that and the story that Kelsey told on on the prosecutors in September is differs from what she said on the, on the stand in front of the people. So we'll see what happens on Monday. They say they got more people to call. I think EJ, I, I think Corey, they can't find the driver. You know, he, he like, yo, I'm not getting involved in this. Yo, give me some money, man. I'm going to Thailand. <laughs> he over there in Thailand just chilling right now until it's over. There you go, pop up. So, Even if to even if everything if Kelsey said was the truth, the testimony that she gave in front of the jury, the visual, the emotion, they're gonna believe her on the stand opposed to listening to that tape. They probably gonna hit her with perjury. And if they lose, if the prosecution lose, they're gonna hit. Kelsey with perjury. They gonna lock up like, oh, you was being the butthead. Now nah, you going to jail for that. You know what I'm saying? If they win, they might leave her alone. But now with this, hearing this tape, without this tape, I'm saying, Tory not guilty. With this tape, I'm, I, I, there's a it's, a, it's a little doubt. I'm still saying, Tory not guilty based on the evidence outside of Kelsey's uh, statement to the prosecution off record. Because she made that sound believable the way she told the prosecutor, the prosecution. But the fact that she pleaded the fifth and said she don't want to incriminate herself leaves doubt that maybe she can be the shooter, which is going to leave the jurors in doubt, which they one of the jurors got got kicked off the jury because he came in drunk. But um, it's going to leave doubt in the jurors either way. Either way, it's going to leave doubt. It's going to be based on the, uh, the other information, the other witnesses. And 
it really going to be have to be based on the eyewitness at the shooting. Not EJ, not the people. All they're going to do is just show who had motive to do what or get angry. Megan went back to the house. She didn't care about no Louis slipper. She was mad that Tori stayed behind, and she went back to check that. Like, yo, you better come on. You came through here with me. Like, yo, you ain't going to stay back and, and, and smash Kylie too. You smashing me, and you smashing Kelsey. So being that Megan play hated on Tori, Tori play hated on Megan and told Kelsey, yo, y'all been beating that. I've been beating that. Tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. Tell her how you snaking her, how I've been smashing that. Go ahead, tell her. And Kelsey like, what, what? Yeah, could you? why you go block me with Kylie, man? I was going to smash the Kardashian, man. A Jenna. You going? You want to hate? I got something to hate on you, yo, Kelsey. I'm beating that. I'm beating that. Yeah, the jockey is beating the horse. Yes, the jockey is beating the horse. The Buster is riding the Bronco. Yes, yes, yes. What? What? And there go your fight right there. You know what I'm saying? So. We'll be back Monday to see what happens with the other witnesses. After I hear the other witnesses, I'm going to call it before the jury call it. Watch what I tell you. Right? Right now, I'm still in favor of I think Tory's going to win. And that's not a biased opinion. That's just from uh, judging on the, the, the evidence that's been presented both so far with these witnesses i'm tory's winning right now that tape was a damage to tory with the, the jury listening to it but it depends if kelsey was in the courtroom when they was listening to it where they go look at her body language and tell if uh, she's uh, was she lying in is she lying now you know so, and they could hear it in her voice and tell from how the person on the stand was talking to. So, it's a, it just got interesting. <laughs> Choke, no joke. Yo, I'm out, man. We're going to talk about this tomorrow, man. Because I, I want to get into it some more. Shout out to Armand Wiggins. Shout out to uh, Lawyers for Workers. You know what I mean? Choke no joke. You already know I am Gizzard. Make sure y'all uh, download the mixtape, Trey Bag. Here's the link again. It's right there. All right, y'all. Show no joke. Make sure y'all go get the joint trade bag right now. That's the link right now. And they got these joints on here. This is the trade bag right here. Don't forget that Coochie songs on there, too. I know y'all love the Coochie song. Get on it, Choke No Joke. I'm out. I never thought that you would cry me. Go against You gonna give me a beat after this one? I never thought that you would cry me. Go against me.
and backstab Third eye is strong, word is bond Put you on the fakes and now you won I gave you support and you play me For those who play with butt Yeah, I'm talking breakfast club, revolt, whatever All I know is birds of a feather Hang with those that they hate Once the realness, now you fake And I see through you, what you gon' do When they book you and your duke shoot I know you think I'm exposed you This ain't no threat, take it personal Choke no joke 2023 It's all me You hear me? 2023 is all me They say why I don't come around the game Cause all y'all dudes undercover gay And I don't play those fucking games Yo stop the track I'm fucking slay Rest in peace K Slay man Let's get to the next one They counted me out Cause I didn't wanna get down <laughs> They just talking about God then What God? What God are you talking about? Say his name This nigga went Eric Benet Now the baddest girl won't show her face you know your ass in the way when she show up to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame And you ain't even say her name, lame, you better say dang In the streets, we call you Roadblock, nigga you shot, nigga you block rocks Like when Chris was about to pop, like MJ moonwalking like Spock You abuse your power facts, you killed the thought that's black Tariq, you kill the weeds, not the seeds that grow the trees. And as long as you alive, Dave should have a milli. Fuck you mean bleep. Nigga, don't get me started. You know I'm retarded and lying hearted. You flipped on your peeps for those peoples in them white sheets. Like you pro black. We pass nail and how you shit on cat, nigga. You got the check, the pros went back, and that's no cap, leaving cap, with no salary cap, your son said you his dad, and you never threw him a pass, watching his siblings in the stands, say lips, say no, say hands, you say the kid is not your son, they call you over, it must be immaculate conception. <laughs> Immaculate conception. <laughs> what? Joke, no joke. 2023. It's all me. You hear me? Choke dead. Choke dead. You already know what it is. Let's go. Yo, Kanye, you better stop playing with Jesus Christ, too. You get it next. Don't think we forgot about the devil in the red dress. You'll get dressed next. Yeah. I already smoked you once in quad. You'll get it too. I was pushing out.